Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is you're watching this video. Thank you and welcome back to Just Burning It Down channel. So guys, today I'm going to talk about this 2019 Dodge Ram 3500 heavy duty truck. I'm not going to reveal the name of the company on this truck and I'm not going to reveal who I work for or anything other than that. Today this video is about calling out some unscrupulous car dealers and um, not only that but idiot dealerships and Chrysler in general now I've driven a lot of trucks over the years Chevy Fords blah 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 a truck is a truck is what they say and a lot of guys swear by these Rams right but what I'm gonna tell you is this Ram is the biggest piece of crap I've ever had the pleasure of driving, ever. This Ram has had nothing but problems since I started driving it for the guy. Okay, so we've had fuel issues. Don't know why all these other guys are getting good fuel mileage. This truck, even without a trailer hook to it, only gets 10 miles to the gallon, maybe 12 if the wind's pushing me from behind. Um, the other day, uh, you know, and I've, I've had it in the dealership a couple times and I've expressed these problems with the, with the fuel mileage issue and, um, you know, just some other issues. And so the dealerships always tell me, oh, well, we don't know what could be wrong with it. There's no code in the computer. Well, that's all well and good. I'm glad there's no code in the computer. But what I'm telling you is the dealerships are liars. So the other day coming out of Ohio... I had an issue with the brake caliper on the front right side of this truck locking up and burning the brakes off. Now I got to a dealership, I had a hot load on, it had to be delivered the next morning. I delivered, I went straight to the dealership seven miles away, explained my problem to the guy and the guy told me, well I got seven cars in front of you and your calipers ain't going to be under warranty even though you know, you got under 50,000 miles on the truck. Uh, and I don't know why your calipers will be going bad. Now, the problem with that is the guy knew exactly why my calipers were going bad because there's a recall on this garbage. They put calipers on this truck that have the wrong assembly fluid, which causes the O-rings to swell and cut the fluid off. Now, would that be a big problem? Yeah, it is a big problem. But it wouldn't have been because I took the truck down the road to a shop that did have the ability to fix the truck. And they had to get the parts from the dealer because the parts are not at, you know, you can't get them at the parts house. Can't call O'Reilly's, can't call Napa, uh, blah, 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 etc. Right? So the dealer or the, the shop, uh, which was a very good shot, by the way, and I'll do a video on them later. Uh, calls the dealer up, tells them what's going on. The dealer sells them a right front caliper, two new rotors, and brake pads. And so this is on Tuesday. Wednesday, late Wednesday afternoon, they call me. The truck is ready. I'm good with that. Go pick the truck up. I don't have a load, so I go back to the motel. Yesterday, I get up and I leave the motel, you know, at checkout time. My dispatcher gets me a load about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And I get headed from Danville, Virginia to Moxville, North Carolina. Now, should have been an easy trip. A little over 100 miles. 71 miles into the trip, the driver's side caliper begins to lock up blowing smoke off of it so I pull over can't get back to the shop that I just left can't find a shop or a dealer that has the part in stock here I did manage to find a mobile mechanic who called and was talking with a dealer who was going to sell them the part today but then they reneged so now I'm stuck here till at least Monday because he had to have the part shipped out of Georgia 
from a dealership. Now this all could have been solved if the dealership Blackwell Dodge in Danville, Virginia, or Kernsville Dodge, Kernersville Dodge in Kernersville had told the shop, hey, you don't just need one caliper, you need two, and you need two rubber brake lines along with the rotors and calipers. Now, that brings me to the next issue, our fuel mileage. Well, I'm not one to let sleeping dogs lie, so I started researching. Not only is there a recall on the brakes that these dealers know about that they're screwing people over and not honoring, but there's a recall on the fuel systems on these trucks because it's prone to leak fuel into the engine compartment, not inside the engine, but into the engine compartment while you're going down the road. There's also a recall on the transmissions in these trucks, that beautiful Ison 69 RFE. Yeah, it has a problem and it builds up too much pressure and blows the fluid up out of the dipstick tube. But the dealerships ain't gonna tell you that. They don't care that you're out here losing money. They don't care that breakdowns cost companies money. And they don't care about their customers at all because guess what? They sold the truck and they've got their money. Now, whether you remain in business or not, they don't really care about you. So here is what I have to say to Chrysler. Dear Chrysler, I thought that I wanted a Ram, but having the experience that I have now, I'll never buy a Dodge, ever. Um, I won't even waste my money on a Dodge. I won't even go to a Dodge either. As a matter of fact, I feel so strongly about it that if someone gave me a brand new Dodge, I would put it on a trailer and take it to the clear, nearest Ford or Chevy dealer and I would trailer it because I'd be afraid the piece of crap would break down on the way to the dealership to trade it in. Um, while I'm blasting dealerships here, you know, I've got the one in Danville, I've blasted the one in Kernersville. So let me go ahead and blast Southland Chrysler in Cordell, Georgia, where I've had the truck at two separate times having work done, complaining about the fuel problem, complaining that it's just not doing right, for them to tell me that, well, there's no code, sir. Well, last time I checked, a real mechanic doesn't have to have a code. A real mechanic actually went to school, paid attention, and he learned what the hell was going on. And regardless of that, even if he didn't learn what was going on, Chrysler puts out these recalls and these dealerships know, and these dealerships are screwing you because they don't want to have to do the work. Period. End of story. Sorry for the curse words that are in here. End of my rant. Chrysler, I hope you go out of business. I hope there's no more, uh, you know, taxpayer government bailouts for you in your future because the amount of money you charge for these trucks and the lack of service that people get with these trucks is just ridiculous. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.